Biblical Christianity is more than just believing in Jesus. The Bible makes it clear that faith without works is dead. We're told that even the devils believe and tremble. That does not make them Christians. In the book of Matthew, Jesus said that he did not come to change the law. The New Testament describes saints as those who keep the commandments of God and who have the faith of Jesus. Even so, today many people have been taught that keeping God's commandments has nothing to do with Christianity. People of other faiths cannot understand that. How could it be possible for the Messiah of Israel to teach people that it is permissible to break the Ten Commandments? Well, the truth is that Jesus never came against any of the Ten Commandments. He kept them and so did His disciples. He did, however, challenge the commandments of men. Today, the ruins of an ancient synagogue at Chorazin, Israel, can still be seen. And it was here at Chorazin that an important artifact was discovered, a Moses seat. In Matthew chapter 23, Jesus spoke of Moses' seat, and an understanding of what Moses' seat represented helps us realize what was going on during the first century. Jesus spoke to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. In the synagogue, Moses' seat was a position of authority from which the scripture was read, the writings of Moses, the law, and the prophets. Jesus said to observe what was presented from Scripture, but not to follow after the teachings of men, for they had added their own rules and regulations. He called them hypocrites, saying that they shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. The fact that Jesus did come against the teachings of the Pharisees has been misinterpreted by many to indicate that he taught his followers that commandment keeping was unimportant. A careful study, however, reveals that he came not against the commandments of God, but rather against hundreds of interpretive teachings which made them impossible to keep. Yes, the same scribes and Pharisees who falsely accused Jesus of breaking the fourth commandment regarding Sabbath observance had perverted the true intent of the law to the extent that he called them serpents and vipers, and said that even though they appeared righteous unto men, that within they were full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Nowhere in the Bible, Old or New Testament, can we find instructions to disregard the Ten Commandments. Just the contrary, they stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. As Jesus stated, till heaven and earth pass away. Contending for the faith once delivered to the saints, I'm Richard Reeves with Just the Facts.